Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. One benefit of the tactical unit in the unmarked car is the ability to pull up on crimes in progress that in a marked car you wouldn't be able to do as easily. They see the car coming from a couple blocks away. Uh, obviously, you know, the car stands out, light bar, marked unit. Whereas in the unmarked car, tinted windows, you pull up on a lot more things in progress, especially narcotics type stuff, suspicious vehicles, suspicious people. And our commanders compared us to uh, the samurais, the ninjas of you know the sheriff's office because we're in a, like a stealth kind of mode. We have a suspicious vehicle right up the road here. We just passed by. I'm not sure if this is a gated community or not, but he's sitting at the entrance. It tends to be more the apartment complexes and the smaller communities that get hit with the auto burglaries. Yeah. They're easier to maneuver and, and they're less uh, suspicious because it's a transient type neighborhood. Well, he pulled out of that area that he was in back there, the residential community, he didn't stop anywhere or get out of the car that we saw. And if he was lost, you'd think you'd be looking for a pay phone or maybe get out and walk around, look for the right apartment. So two other unmarked cars are catching up to us right now. One's behind us, so what we'll try and do is, if he makes any overt turns, instead of us following him directly so that it looks like we're following him, We'll go past and let one of the other cars pick them up. Yeah, the registered owner of the car is born in 1980, yeah, and they said extensive past in our local computer system to include fleeing and looting a police officer, assault on a police officer, resisting arrest with violence. Uh, I believe they said robbery also. It's extensive past for someone that you know that young. And he also, they're just advising us now. He has a warrant for his arrest and a suspended driver's license. He's following him back there. Yeah, he's going nowhere now. This is closed He's going to go through Burger King. He's going to go through Burger King drive through uh, You got it? Let's do it. And here we go again. This is why we didn't want to do that. Yeah, we're going to go through Burger King drive through I don't believe there's an outlet in there. He's trying to bail. He just threw something out of the car. He just threw something out of the car. All right. Tell him he just threw some out of the car on a turn. Back there. He threw something out of the car. On the Tim, turn. Can grab that on the turn? Small package on the turn out the driver's side. Dave, you want to get the back there? What do we got? Passenger the the Passenger's trying to bail out. Oh, repeat, guys. He cannot get out back here. It's a dead end. 23 Palm, he's going to bail out. We're on 45th, just east of 95 in the complex. All corporate. Here we go. No, we got a bail out. We got a bail out. 23. One in southbound along the canal bank back towards 45th Street. Sheriff's Office! We got a dog! Go out towards the main road. Go south. He's going south. All right. There he goes, right there. Man, go on you. Slow down, slow down, man. Go on you. He's over by the dumpster or north of that? He's definitely north on 95. He's got him. Yes. He's got, him. got him in custody. 684, we got both in custody. 686, we got everybody. Driver and passenger, clear 1033. Huh? Who's the driver? We got, we got both of them. You got both of them? Got both of them. Who got the first one? Tim got the first one. Mangonia Park got the other one when he got on 995. Excellent. We saw, I saw him throw it out. 
Perfect. The driver threw it out. Yeah, I got it. I, I send the call. The, uh, the driver's the one in the white shirt. 686. Excellent, excellent work. One street just east of 95 and 45th, next to that Burger King. Your oh, you're the driver. Dri the passenger's a white shirt. We saw him bail out. Yeah. You're the driver. You're the driver. He's the driver. White shirt passenger. White shirt was a passenger, right? We'll go back and find the weed. They drive a bunch of weed. I got it. Yeah, he got it. Is it weed or crack? Heads up, listen up. There's a bunch of weed on the road. Go back to the car. And we'll just walk it. Walk it back, okay? Yeah. Get fire rescue. I'm missed by the cars. All right. You got him? You all right? Yeah. Why are you running? Why are y'all chasing this? Why are you running? Let me scared, man. Y'all y'all was on bitch for what? Okay. Well, well for you nothing. Don't worry about it. you ain't got nothing, no for reason nothing. to stop, right? Let if you had stopped, it would be a ticket and you'd be on your way. All right? That's what I'm saying. Put him in the car. We pat him down real good. Yeah, I did. So he threw everything out of the car already. Who threw out the car? Relax. We right. saw you throwing it out the car. Nice and easy. That's two for two. What, two 1050s? <laughs> two 1050s? That's what I'm talking about. Two traffic stops, two, hey, two foot chases, and a Sarge. Good job. Got the legs, man. Like My legs were done. They were done. Good job, man. Two in a row. Now they're done. Start checking the road. They're all the way up here on the right. They had both doors open the whole way. Just go all the way to the bush line, and then it's falling around the back of that building. all the way down the street here. So far, it's what we got, but uh, he threw out a lot. So it's definitely possession with intent to sell, which is a felony for marijuana. And one of the other guys said he had some white powder which would probably be the cocaine. But either way, we got a couple felony charges on him anyway and a few misdemeanor charges. This right here is the first thing that they threw out the window. When right. they made that left-hand turn, throw that out I stopped, scooped turn. it up off the ground. We got about 40 little individual packages of crack cocaine, one to two, one to two pieces of crack inside each packet. You got about three, $400 worth of crack cocaine. And as he drove along, he was periodically throwing individual bags out the window, which we, we walked back, traced the steps, and you got, what, a good 25, 30 uh, individually bagged what packages of marijuana here, also and numerous road. also picked up on the road. So you got possession of marijuana with, with intent to yeah, sell did, and did possession of crack and, cocaine. Uh, depending upon the weight of the marijuana, it could also be trafficking. It's got a nice tint to it. shows testing positive for the THC. So it's, you get charged, like I said, with intent, marijuana with intent to distribute, maybe trafficking, first degree felony, a couple other charges, and uh, obviously it turned out to have numerous warrants. So. Uh, Altogether, everything worked out pretty good. You know, people always ask me, uh, why do you stay on midnight shift? Main reason I stay on midnight shift is because I get to coach baseball. You know, I coach little league baseball, and you know, we got a uh, great team out there to where we got a chance to even going all the way to the World Series again. You know, this league out here has won the World Series uh, twice, and we're hoping to make it a third one this year. Six three. I believe I might be behind your uh, caddy, maroon in color. Uh, we had a burly to a vehicle, and there was a uh, maroon caddy involved, and I think we're behind the vehicle now. 6-3. Three. Three. All right, they're pulling over to the Hess gas station. Copy tag. Go ahead with it. 4-1, and I'll get you to state here in a second. 6-3. Nebraska. Three white males and a female. And we're at the Hess, 1050. Let me see everybody's hands in the vehicle. Let me see everybody's hands. Put your hands where they can be seen. Everybody keep your hands right on top of your heads, all right? And don't move them. Let's get him out of the car. I'm going to start with female first. Come on out. Out of the car. Step to the back. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Sit down. Over here, buddy. Hands on the roof. 
Oh, my boy. Spread your legs. Spread them. Sit on the ground. To the back, on the ground. You stand up, step to the back of my car. Separate all these guys, especially big boy, Jose. Come here. You been arrested before? Yeah. What'd y'all do, what'd they do with the pump that they stole? Huh? You don't know what they did with it? Yeah. Unless you want to go to jail for accessory mm -hmm. also to a burglary, to a vehicle, you need to talk to me and be honest with me. If not, I'm going to put you in jail. Because you don't have a driver's license either, do you? Yes. All you do, is it valid? Yes. You've been drinking tonight? No. No? You've been doing crack cocaine? No. You've been doing something because your eyes are all bugged out. Well, I've been awake for a while. I've okay. been partying, but Listen, I haven't been. I'm going to give you drinking. one last opportunity mm -hmm. before I put you in handcuffs and put you in jail to be honest with me, okay? Because I'm not here to play games. Which one did it, the guy in the white shirt? Which one? The guy in the green shirt. The guy in the green shirt? Okay, what happened? Where did you all go when you left here? I don't know where they went. You were with they, them, you were driving. They me off. You were driving. No, I wasn't. Well, guess what? What if I told you we had an undercover cop following you the whole time? You were driving. You're gonna sit here and lie to me, I'm gonna put you in jail. I don't know where it's at. I just drove. I don't know you my way You drove there. Right you're going to be able to show me where it's at. I don't know where it's at. I, we can drive around. I can try to find my way there. Is it off a dirt road? Yeah, we're going down a dirt road. Next to the canal? Mm-hmm. All right. So the guy in the green shirt is the one that broke into the car? Mm-hmm. Come with me. <laughs> Sit down right here, on the ground. We're gonna do a uh, identification here. We got a uh, witness that saw them do the crime. Huh? That's the only one he can ID. You can ID him? For yeah. sure. I know the car for sure. Okay, the car for sure and definitely him. That was the All guy right. I saw way down the driver, whoever was driving. And he did he have the pump in his hand? I, it was a couple people grabbed the pump in his hand before. But it's definitely him. I've, that's the only one I've seen. Okay. Saying. Is, um, he said it was three guys lifting it out. Well, here's your three guys. Yep, they did. And she was driving. They think got some. No, they, don't, they took it to the crack house. I caught them coming off Canal Road. You did? Canal Road and Kirk Road. They just went we straight to that crack it? house. Yeah, she's going to take us to that house. Going over to a uh, crack house, and we're going to uh, pick up the merchandise that they went ahead and stole and dropped off over there. Uh, we got Deputy uh, Moore in the car ahead of us, and he's got one of the uh, guys that was in the car when they did the uh, burglary to the vehicle. He's going to show us where they dropped off the pump that they stole out of this guy's truck. Okay, you like this. Hey, how are you? Good. Thanks. Don't shut the door on me. No. Some guys just came and dropped off a pump here. A pump? Yeah, give me the pump. Yeah, this is the pump that they was dropped. That's the pump they dropped off? Yeah. OK. This is, this is, this is, a, this is a there and a... It's like you got a lot of stolen stuff here, probably, huh? No, there's a... Uh, no? All right, why don't you step outside? Yeah, we got, we got a whole house of stolen stuff here. The pump's right there. He just said this is what they just came and dropped off. Which one? This one? Yeah. Did you pay him for it? Well, for this one, I, I, I borrowed two hundred dollars. So, yeah, I, I gave him two hundred. You gave him two hundred bucks for this? Yeah. They say uh, when they come back, they want to pick him up. Yeah, is this yours? Yep, that's mine. Sure. Just had the back half. One hundred percent positive. Right, bro? just came from American Equipment. You one hundred percent positive. One hundred percent positive. The springs on the back. And and this was stolen what? Out of your truck? Out of the back of my work truck. Wow. Well, at least we got your stuff back this time. Thank you, guys. Hey, no problem. Appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. Take a look in the house here. There's a ton more property in here. You might have something else in here that's yours. It's funny because I pretty much patrolled most of the area I grew up in. And uh, 
you run into a lot of people you grew up with, a lot of people I went to high school with, and uh, sometimes you're you're going to their, to their houses to help them out, and sometimes you end up going to their houses to take them to jail. And uh, it's, happened, uh, it's happened quite a bit where you uh, show up somewhere and uh, run into an acquaintance or something from high school and end up having to uh, unfortunately arrest them for something. We're responding to a uh, fight in progress. I don't know if there's any weapons or anything like that involved. It's uh, right down the street here. We've got five to six black males in a physical next to a blue Cadillac. Uh, right down the street, and we'll see what happens. What's going on, man? I'm driving down the street. Look, look what he's doing to my car. Who did what? Who did what? Yeah. Okay. Come over here floor. and sit right here. Hey, I'm talking to you. Come over here and sit on the floor. Oh, he got a lot of warrants. He even stayed there. You need to come here and sit on the floor. I ain't got no warrants, man. I don't care what you got. When I tell you to do something, you're going to do it. Yeah. Sit on the floor. Yeah, I live here. What you mean? I don't care where you live. Sit okay. on the floor. Man, I walked out my house. You see that car parked there? Like, what the f you doing in front of my house? I live here. So, so I walked out and stuff to this man right by. Put up on me and bust me in my face. Man, Tell me the story more. from the beginning. Okay. How did this window get smashed? How did you guys get into a confrontation? I walked out the house. You walked out the house? I seen this car park right there. Okay. And I walk over to that boy in the blue car right there. Uh -huh. He ran up on me and punched me. Okay. I'm like, what's going on? Oh, you told a cop that I've been standing with my house. Like, told what cop? Oh, oh. Maybe that is slaughter, whatever his name was. You thought, oh, I told a cop that he got rid of his house. And uh, he punched me and shit on the fight. And my mom went out, so he's going to hit my mom. He's there. I live here. So then you threw the rock at his window? I threw the rock at him, but it hit the car. He threw the rock at him and it hit the car? Man, but man, man, he hit me, man, bigger than what you want me to do. Fight him? I hit, man, I live here, man. Yeah, and I talk to you too, I want to talk to you too, because he come in my That's house. That's my mom, you know what I'm saying? He's going to hit my mom. I, Just wait one minute, okay? I'm supposed to talk to you. Come on, wait till I, wait till I, mommy, wait till I. So what's going on here today, sir? This nut come breaking my windows in my car. Okay, well, he says you were parked out here for like 20 minutes or so. He's standing in the house. I just left you my house. house. I was standing right there in the house. I just left my house. 20 minutes or so. I just left my house. How did he get the scratches and stuff on him? Who? When? On him. Oh, because he just grabbed him after he hit my broken window. I had to grab him to stop him from breaking his window. How many times did he throw the brick at your car? It was more than one brick he threw. One, two, inside and on the side right here. You think one brick did all that damage? I don't know. I wasn't here. That's why I'm asking you. Where did the first brick hit at? I think it hit the windshield. I'm not sure. Is that one of the ones he used, obviously, right behind you there? Yes, it is. We'll uh, see if any independent witnesses have any uh, anything to add. The man in the white shirt um, jumped on him and uh, started punching him. Yeah. So the guy in the white shirt came out of the car first and started hitting him? Yeah, because he punched him in the arm. You punched him in the face. arm, in the face? I didn't see all Did you see saw, that? Yes. Where were you at? Um, I was on the porch. You were on your porch right here? Yeah. OK. And then what did Ramon do? They, they, fought, they fought each other. They yeah, fought each other? Yeah, and he got a big rock and threw it at his car, broke his window. And okay. tried to throw it in, tried to throw it at Mr. Tony. OK, just hang out here, OK? If we have any more questions for you, we'll, we'll come back. But I appreciate it, OK? OK. Thanks a lot. Huh? Stand up. Turn around. Just 14, the female player is already back in the residence. She's the one got sick. Now what happened, man? What, what did I do? I'm going to jail for criminal mischief. Explain everything just a second. Y'all think you made the jail? Yes, sir. Oh, what? Oh, make it. Just relax, sir. We'll explain later to you. Give my mom, give me a shirt or something to wear? Yeah, we'll get you a shirt. All right, watch your head when you get in there, OK? I got to twist my phone right there. Watch your head. You can catch up to my mom. We'll talk to her in just a second, OK, Watch when she'll bring like. your shirt. Excuse me, excuse me. What's that? What am I charged with? Well, you're being charged with criminal mischief. What is that? Breaking a gentleman's window. But this man came to my house fighting me. Let me explain something to you. Somebody comes to your house and starts a fight with you, he's going to be arrested too, OK? But somebody comes to your house and starts a fight with you, you know what you do? You go inside and you call us. Is it your car? Yeah. It's registered to you? Yeah. Do you want to be, do you want to press charges against him? Get a press charge or the court will, the court will, 
look at the order damage the she's done to my car. My car has been parked because it's because it's been stolen. Yes, okay. and it has been parked until I can get everything right on it. Now, I'm trying to move it today, and there's somebody coming back on my window. It's, it's up to me, isn't it? It's your car. Yeah, you're the victim. If you want to press charge against it. I'm the victim now. Okay. Deputy, you're on stop. Yes, sir. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen, okay? Three, two, the case is zero, seven, four, three, He's going zero, to jail for breaking the car, right? And we're gonna take zero, it to jail for simple, uh, simple battery. AP is four, zero, four, four, eight, four, zero, four, 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 eight. Can I get my wife working into my pocket? Nothing that's gonna stick me, right? No, I hope not. <laughs> you hope not? Well, tell me before I go reaching in there. I don't think so. There's no needles appearing in there. You don't have any, you don't have no stamina like that in your pocket? No, I don't smoke crack. Okay. Right in the back of this car over here. Over here. Four, six, six, three, four, 154 court, Farmers Country Estate. In America. Nothing in your shoes or anything like that, right? When you get down to jail. No. Okay. Have a seat in the back. Watch your head. Easy. Watch your head. Oh, hey. Can you help me with that leg? I had surgery on that leg right there. I can't lift it up. Thank you. Is that okay? Just, there's a hole in there. Just sit back straight. There you go. Your hands will fit right in there. Well, I don't know what you guys are going to do from, you know, once these guys get back out, what, what, what's going to happen? So, I don't know. Is the it feud going to continue? Something. It might be do some, something because he says something, you know? He says something. If you guys that. feel threatened by this gentleman and you think he's going to come back and do harm to you or your son, I suggest you go down and get a restraining order you against know, him, okay? People, people are dangerous, you know? You don't know what's going to happen. You never people know what dangerous. anybody's going to do. You never know. You never so, know. If you have any more problems, okay, just call us. Okay? okay? Good luck to you. Thank you. 132 in Bush. I got him at gunpoint. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 